everybody, you are watching Vitorials, my name is Alex and in this tutorial I will show you how to tune the simple circle in Adobe Illustrator into this amazing fairy brush. And after this I will show you how to tweak couple of settings so this brush, uh, brush will be compatible with your Wacom tablet. Okay, so let's get into it, let's start with a new document. I am designing on the 1380 980 pixels canvas. Okay, and on this canvas I already have two circles. One is dark, one is light. Both of them has the diameter of 200 pixels. So you can go and create the circles. Next we need to create the blend from these circles. Okay, so head over to the blend tool and double click on it to bring up the blend options and we need to change the spacing to specify steps and set the number of steps to 100. Click OK. Next one with the blend tool selected you need to click on the first circle and on the second circle to create the blend. OK. Next one we need to create the fur from this blend. And in order to do this, we need to go and visit the effect that called Roughen. So head over to the effects, distort and transform Roughen. And then it has size and details. We need to increase the size to around 45. And we need to bring up more details to this artwork to around 40 per inch. Click OK. And this is basically it. You can throw it on your brushes panel and if you don't know where is your brushes panel, if you can't find it on your right sidebar, you can head over to the windows brushes or just use the F5, where is my brushes, just use the F5 on your keyboard to bring up the brushes panel. Just throw it into the empty spot of your brushes panel, okay? And then from this drop down, from the new brush you need to select the art brush and click OK. Change this brush to let's say furry and so far so good. So click OK and let's try this brush. I will use my paint brush tool and as you can see this brush is a little bit awkward because it's like it's not moving along the, along the stroke, right? And in order to fix this, in order to fix this brush, you need to double click on it. But you need to first deselect everything by clicking on the F empty spot of your canvas. Double click on your brush. And first of all, we need to scale proportionally. This is very important, guys. You need to select this option, scale proportionally and apply it to stroke. Right now, if I want to use this brush for simple calligraphy. I want to create the furry type and in order to do this I need to grab again the paintbrush tool and, and as you can see it looks decent. It's, it works. I want, I want them to respond on the pressure that I'm applying to my graphic tablet. In, in order to do this I need to double click on this furry brush again and in this drop down width I need to select the pressure and then I want to select the range of the pressure, the minimal one and the maximum one. So I want to set it to 50, between 50 and 150, just like this, click OK and now apply to strokes of course. So now as you can see as I'm drawing and I'm applying more and more pressure, you, I will get more or less depending on the pressure that I am applying. So this works well but right now I also want them to respond on my stroke color. Okay so because not right now if I change the stroke for example to this greenish one right and grab the paint brush tool and start brushing you will see that nothing has changed. In order to remedy this you need to head over to the brushes panel again and from this colorization find the colorization panel and you will see that drop down that called method. Select either tints or tints and shades. If you select the tints uh, the, the brushes colors will be a little bit flattened. You will see it here. It will be like and me I'm not a big fan of this. If you want it to be fully saturated, you need to select the tints and shades. 
okay so click okay here and now when you grab the brushes and you will go and start drawing you will see how they respond on the adobe illustrator okay guys this is it basically this is the end of this tutorial because in my, if you are going to tutorials.net if you want to buy your own brushes set I, I have a set of five brushes elliptical one rounded one fixed pressure sensitive so i have everything that you need in order to start working just right now so i want to show you how to install this brush set uh, in your adobe illustrator application in order to install the custom brush set you need to head over to this menu brushes libraries menu and then choose the other library and then select your set brushes furry brushes and you need to select this one and then then in order to store your along with your adobe illustrator if you want to launch it along with your adobe illustrator application you need to go and save this library okay so you can through it on your main panel make sure that nothing has been selected you can through it on your main panel and then save it save this brush set this is it if you enjoyed this tutorial give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friend thank you for watching and enjoy your day